Hello and welcome to Getting Candid with me, your girl Helen. Today, my guest, I'm excited because he's my friend. We've known each other for so long. Our careers practically started at the same time, yes. But he's a TV uh, news reporter for NBC TV One. And also, he is a choreographer, he's a comedian, he's a musician. So many talents. I'm talking about Max Zirigoni. Join me on the other side as I chat with him. Welcome back. I mentioned that I'll be chatting with Max Ziligone. Hi. Good, how are you? Good, good. I'm excited to have you on the show. I'm so excited to see you. It's been long. It's been long. For sure. Yeah, it has been long, but um, at least it, we're here now. Sure, you're doing fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. So, Mark, uh, firstly, I know you personally, and uh, we were interns together and whatnot, but sure. obviously, there are certain things, you have people that follow you, you have fans that follow you, and they would want to know who Max Gone is, and I thought this would be necessary for us to just have a chat. Sure. Yes? We get candid. So, uh, let's start with uh, your background. Just tell us about your education background, where you grew up from, okay. born and bred Lusaka, right? Max Gone is just a simple young man who was born in Lusaka, Chawama to be particular. Um, I completed school at uh, Libala High School, yes, and uh, I went to study journalism and mass communication, mm -hmm. yes, and uh, started working for ZNBC as a journalist. Cool. Sure. Firstly, uh, uh, the truth is uh, most, of, most of the people, when they want to join the media, some parents are a bit skeptical and they would rather you do medicine or engineering. How was it for you? What you're saying is really true because my mother is a nurse. Yeah. So even the time that I wanted to apply for journalism, she was really skeptical about it. Yeah. She was like, no, uh, jobs are really difficult to get. And for sure, it's not easy out there. It's not really easy in our career. Jobs are really difficult. Why can't you do nursing or you go for CEO? That's a clinic officer. Clinic officer yeah. But um, I've now found passion in doing things that have to do with uh, medicine and what. But what I like most is like entertaining people, informing people mm -hmm. in the lines of journalism. So I told my mom to say, OK, let me just try this. Now, where are you going to get a job if you look at these other TV stations? Journalists are not well paid, but I just focused, I said, mommy, just give me the support. And that's how I went to do journalism, and by God's grace, Everything I found my... Yeah, well. exactly, exactly. Yeah. And she's really proud about that. That's she's really good. proud. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, I was talking about uh, you being married. You're saying you were married for how long? Uh, I was married for five years. Mm -hmm. I was supposed to clock, uh, actually, six years this year. Okay. Yes. What happened? Oh, I divorced my ex-wife. Why? <laughs> sure, it, um, a lot happened. A lot happened, you know. And there's one thing that I want to say is, uh, we were in love. She's somebody who made me happy, I made her happy. So, it's a lot of things happened actually. I'm, I'm trying to find out where I'm supposed to begin. Uh, there was just some misunderstanding. You know the career of journalism. Mm -hmm. We got married. Our wedding was on TV, it was in papers, yeah. all over social media. Yeah. And uh, she was known by a lot of people. For those who follow me, those who know Max Ligone, mm -hmm. actually knew that uh, the woman was my wife. Yeah. Uh, I, I used to post uh, a lot of photos of me and her when we were in love. Yeah. And I know a lot of, some, some people were really jealous. Others would come and, no, Mark, I think you're overdoing it. And I said, no, I'm in love. Yes, and I was in love, for sure. We made each other happy. But time came when uh, things just uh, couldn't work out. Yes, because we were, I, I just discovered that we were two different people. And uh, I tried my level best mm -hmm. to make things right. Because uh, most of the times I was the one who was uh, trying to put things right. Even when we had uh, disputes, I would engage her family, engage my family. On several occasions, I would do that, bring us together, but it couldn't work out. You know, a person reaches a point where we say, I think things cannot work out anymore. How long were you together before you got married? Before we officially got married, uh, we stayed together for a year, but I, I, I just, uh, for both families said, we need to make things official. That's how we planned uh, our wedding. Mm -hmm. So we were staying together as we were plan planning the wedding, actually. We were doing, we were, doing uh, we were having a wedding when she was seven months pregnant, but she, she couldn't show because she's a giant. Mm -hmm. Couldn't show. We had a wedding in August, but October we had a bouncing baby boy. Mm -hmm. Yes, we had a bouncing baby boy in October. Mm -hmm. 